In today's video, we are going to talk about cat's nutrition. With hundreds of pet food brands, crazy treat trends, and confusing ingredients, it's hard to know what's best for your cat. In an age of technology where it's so easy to be misled and get inaccurate answers online, we've put together a comprehensive nutrition guide, complete with all the information you need to plan for your cat's diet. Since cats tend to eat the same food at almost every meal, it's easy to understand just how important it is that you select a food that will completely meet your cat's nutritional needs. Establishing a healthy diet plan will not only help your cat maintain healthy body weight, but it will also improve his quality of life and even extend his lifespan. Here are some of the basics tips for feeding your cats. 1. What to know about feeding your cat. Whether your cat is a picky eater or a little on the pudgy side, they probably let you know how they feel about what you put in their bowl. Cats are very opinionated about food, and a lot of their food preferences are formed in the first year, says Julie A. Churchill. So if your cat is a kitten, now is the time to get them used to different types of food, wet, dry, and semi-dry. But even if your pet is older, there are still ways to make sure they are getting all the nutrients they need to be healthy. Start by learning more about what you're buying and what your cat needs. 2. Ask your veterinarian. If you have questions about your cat's nutrition, your veterinarian should be your go-to resource. Your veterinarian will provide you the best foods for your cat and they will make sure your pet is getting the best nutrition possible. 3. Choose balanced food. All cat owners should know how to read a cat food label, says Richard Hill. It's trendy to bash grains and carbohydrates in pet food, but those are not necessarily bad, Churchill says. Plus, food made of only protein and fat gets pricey. Carbs can be valuable to hold dry food together and make food more affordable, and many cats like that crunch. As long as carbs are in an amount cats can handle, it's okay. If you see a statement from the Association of American Feed Control officials on your cat's food bag or cans, you're on the right track. This is a sign that your cat's diet meets all the necessary nutrition requirements. 4. Don't dwell on the ingredients. It can be really confusing to look at the list of ingredients on your pet's food. Pet food companies not only use their ingredients and labels for science and nutrition, but also for marketing purposes. They may highlight different terms like human grade to draw you in, but these are usually made up terms with no nutritional or medical values. When in doubt, talk to your veterinarian. 5. Assess the manufacturer. This is where your veterinarian can help guide you. Where your pet's food is manufactured can play a big role in how nutritious it is. Here are the important things that we need to know. Where is the food manufactured? A good manufacturer owns the plants where their food is produced. What quality control measures are taken? This looks at the quality of ingredients, consistency, and nutritional value of the end product. Do they employ at least one full-time, qualified animal nutritionist, and does this doctor formulate the diets? Do they conduct and publish research in peer-reviewed journals? Can they provide nutritional values for any nutrient beyond what's listed on the label? These are just a few of the important things that we need to know to ensure our pet's best diets and nutrition. 6. The more canned food, the better. Ideally, feed your cat only a canned or wet food diet. For those that prefer dry food, you need to feed a combination of wet and dry food to cats for a variety of reasons. It will help them get enough water, which they may not seek out on their own. Cats have a low thirst drive and are designed to get most of their water with their food. As indoor cats do not get a great deal of physical exercise, combining the two food types is beneficial, because wet food has fewer calories. The high water content in canned food will encourage your cat to urinate more often, flushing out their bladders. This is important to help reduce urinary tract issues, especially in indoor cats. As cats get older, certain conditions like diabetes and kidney disease respond better to wet food. If you start feeding some canned food to your cat when they're young, they may not be so picky in the future. If you have an adult cat on an all-dry diet, your vet can help with tips to transition your cat from a dry-only diet. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 7. Kittens need kitten food. Kittens need food that is tailored to fuel their development into young adult life. Kitten food has more calories, with a higher fat and calorie content to help support their fast growth. 8. Cater to their carnivore nature. You cannot feed your cat a vegan or vegetarian diet, because cats are obligate carnivores, this means they can't get the nutrients they need from plants, and so must eat meat and not a lot of carbohydrates. 
This is most notably because they get taurine, an essential amino acid for heart function, from their diets. Look for diets with more protein content of at least 45%, and carbohydrate content of less than 10%. Home-cooked diets need to be very carefully considered and planned with the guidance of your veterinarians. 9. Grain-free does not mean carbohydrate-free. Many grain-free diets have replaced traditional grains with peas, potatoes, and sweet potatoes, none of which have any proven health benefits for cats. Best Practices When Feeding Your Cat Because cats can be stubborn eaters, it's important to think about how you're feeding them. A fun feeding routine can improve your furry friend's quality of life. Tailor your methods like how, when, and how much you feed to their predator instincts. Feed them alone. As carnivores with a hunting drive, cats prefer to eat alone. If you have multiple cats in the household, make sure to separate their feeding areas and give them space. Feeding together can cause anxiety, aggression, and stress, not to mention weight issues if they eat from each other's bowls. Switch up the feeding location. You don't have to feed your cat in the same spot every day. If they get meals in different locations throughout the day, they will be more mentally and physically stimulated. Make sure they drink enough water. Some cats drink well out of a water bowl, but others won't even touch theirs. If your cat is on the stubborn side, try a cat water fountain to increase water intake as many cats prefer fresh, flowing water. Give smaller meals more frequently. Cat owners often leave out a full bowl of food during the day. This doesn't tap into their inner predator or make eating exciting. In fact, it can cause overeating and lead to obesity. Equally, feeding large meals twice daily can lead to the snarf and barf syndrome that is so frequent in indoor cats. A cat's physiology is designed to eat little and often. When fed large amounts twice a day, they take in more than their stomachs are designed for, leading to frequent vomiting. If your cat eats smaller meals more often, they won't eat out of boredom and they will LLB healthier overall. Keep it fun and engaging. Try using a puzzle feeder to mimic hunting instincts. The indoor hunting feeder will help to mentally stimulate your cat while providing smaller meals more often. If you have multiple cats that give you trouble during mealtime, try automatic feeders that work on a timer and can be set to individual cat microchip numbers. Most veterinary nutritionists agree that terms like grain-free, organic, human-grade and no-buy products are more likely related to public relations and marketing, rather than based upon true science. No definitive research has emerged yet about the efficacy of these types of diets. If you are interested in an exact calorie count for your cat, speak with your veterinarian instead of using an online calculator. The other famous cat treat milk, can actually cause diarrhea. Find out which human food treats are suitable for cats, and make sure you avoid these common household pet poisons. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.